guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologise if you can hear the bath running, but I just thought I would quickly intro this vlog. I'm in my pyjamas, we've been on the coldest dog walk today. It was so lovely, but it was freezing, so I got home and got in my pyjamas, and I just cannot get warm, so I'm just running the bath. It is Sunday, I love a cosy Sunday. We're on a really nice dog walk to Woburn Deer Park, I think it is, or Woburn basically the deer park in Woy, but I don't know what it's officially called but if you live near I really recommend if you haven't been to go it's just such a lovely walk um and then got home oh probably really echo in here got home and have what have we been doing we watched we watched last night's um the mask singer let me know if you're watching it and who you think everyone is below I am convinced even though knitting wasn't on this week but I'm convinced that knitting is Claire from Steps and Pigeon, we're not sure, is either Emily Atak or... I did say Linda Robinson today. Is that her name, Linda Robinson? But, um, oh, careful, the dog's trying to get in the bath. Which is funny, because we had to bath her earlier and she hates it. But yeah, if I'm running the bath, she's like, oh, let me in. Um, yeah, let me know below who you think some of the people are. I'm so intrigued by Rhino. I really want it to be someone really famous. Like a really big name. But Jake thinks James Arthur, which I think is a good shout. But... I'm just not sure. Anyway, um, I just wanted to introduce this vlog. I was going to edit it this evening and I realised I hadn't done an intro or an outro and actually the vlog didn't really turn out how I thought it was going to turn out. So basically, end of last week's vlog, I said that this week was going to be kind of like what we've been eating this week. Um, and then the reality is I'm not very good at filming food or recipes or anything like that. And like my presentation skills are not good. And with working, finishing work, and then in a rush if like, Jake's been doing exercise in the evenings, we've both been out and about, so yeah, trying to film food just didn't go very well. So I've got the uh, one pot lasagna, I did film that, which I'm glad about because somebody commented last week and they were looking forward to seeing that, so yeah, I have filmed that. And I have filmed a couple of other bits and bobs, like random things, as and when I've had a chance, i filmed random things like things I've been having for breakfast, my smoothie that I found this week that I absolutely love. Um, we did film a different recipe, which is like a Turkish chicken kind of thing. Um, I'm just not sure if that's going to be good enough to make the cut, I'll decide. Um, even if I just show you like the final thing of that and then just pop the recipe below for you. But yeah, it's really hard filming food, especially in our kitchen. I've said this so many times, our kitchen is so small. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just come on and introduce the vlog anyway. I thought I would just show you some of my, because I'm just about to do my skincare before I get in the bath so I thought I could add this in as well just in case like all the food bits are really boring and you're not interested I thought I'd add this in so it kind of doesn't really have a flow to it like I thought it would this this vlog but yeah I'm just showing you so I use the um these are all a bit grubby now but to take my makeup off initially I just use those um face cloths that you just use with water so I'll use this and take like I haven't got any eye makeup on today but eye makeup on but um yeah I use these to take my eye makeup off and just generally wash my face just literally with water I absolutely love these you can get them in like B&M, Home Bargains, Primark and I genuinely think they are amazing to just take your makeup off generally with just water and then, how many times can I say that I then use the Elemis Superfood Facial Wash afterwards so you can get these on like look fantastic if that's gonna load probably not anyway this is what I use first and then I pop my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm on. Now what I like to try and do with this one is during the week, I'll uh, do all my skincare, pop this on and then like clean my teeth and everything and just leave it for a couple of minutes um, and then wash it off. And then I've got the Elemis, I think it's called the Super Facial Moisturising Cream upstairs. I will tag it below because it's so good. Um, but yeah, I will, oh, I skipped a step, sorry. Pop this on as well, Elemis. Oh, dog's barking. Shock. What's this one? Elemis Balancing Lavender Toner. Can you see that? Come on. There we go. See, so yeah, I pop this on. This is so good. This is like a proper, what I would call a really nice, oh, there we go. I'm back. Sorry. Like a sleep scent. So I love putting this on just before I head up to bed. And then, yeah, when I get upstairs, I've got the super facial moisturizer. I will link it below because I'm not 100% sure if that's what it's called. But this evening, I'm going to do my initial makeup 
remover with the Elemis Superfood Facial Wash. And then I'm going to pop this on and leave it on while I'm in the bath. I'm hoping that that is okay to do. I'm assuming so because it's just like a real like deep cleansing sort of... Does it say? Rinse thoroughly. Mm, may melt when warm, resets when cooled. Huh. Um, it doesn't say you can't do that, but I just quite like when you've left it on for a little while, it makes my face feel really soft. So yeah, I'm just going to have probably like a 20 minute bath because we're making dinner. So I'm going to leave this on for a little bit longer. And then I have got just an Elemis cloth here that I'm just going to obviously rinse it all off with. And then I'll leave my skin and just before I go to bed, I will pop this on because I just prefer it because I love the smell when I'm going to sleep. So yeah. I just thought I'd fill you in with that while I'm standing here running a bath. I hate waiting for a bath to run. I just want to get in. So I thought if I do this, it kills some time while the bath's running. But anyway, I'm going to go and have a bath now. I will pop in all the different bits from this week that I've filmed. And I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, I do apologise that it didn't quite go how I thought it was going to go. But hopefully, like I said, there's still some bits in there that you can take inspo from. And it's just a little bit random. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So this is what I've been having for breakfast this last week or so. So I've just been using the Simply Granola from Sainsbury's. But you can just get any granola, can't you, from any supermarket and they're all the same or you can just obviously get ones that have got extra bits in them oh i've just spilled that everywhere i just prefer sort of the plain granola i think it has got um oats and honey it says but yeah it's relatively plain which i prefer and then i've just been using these light and free yogurts now these are quite expensive if that's going to focus but i just like that they come in so many different flavors and they are um sort of like a healthier oh my goodness that's not focusing anyway this is a white chocolate flavor today there we go um it doesn't actually say white chocolate there does it there we go <laughs> i am getting nails this week i promise but yeah i've just got the white chocolate one today but i've also got strawberry in the fridge i've had a passion fruit one a cherry bakewell one and i just like that they're relatively well they say 57 calories not that i'm calorie counting but obviously it's a little bit of a healthier alternative of yogurt and like i said i just love that it comes in so many different flavors so yeah i've been having this pretty much every day for the last week or so but mixing up the flavors so it doesn't get boring and yeah i've been really enjoying it it's been keeping me fuller for longer and i just really struggle with breakfast so this is a nice simple takes two seconds to do and yeah, you can keep it interesting with all the different So flavors. coffee, as always, is either an espresso, I think it's caramel creme brulee or vanilla eclair pod into some frothy milk and the ice cinnamon roll skinny syrup. This is my absolute favourite when I'm making them at home. So we have the Nespresso sage, I think it is. I will tag it below just in case anyone's interested. But yeah, this is my morning coffee of choice every day. Okay, so tonight it is Saturday and we are going to make the Good Bite one pot lasagna. So I saw this recipe on Instagram, cannot take credit for it. I thought I oh, will just make the lasagna like how we would make a, a beef mince kind of bolognese anyway. But we thought, oh no, we'll give it a go exactly how they say. Minus a few things that we don't like. So we don't like celery, although you probably wouldn't actually taste it. But we're going to give it a go exactly how he says. But you could just make the mince how you want to make it or add things that you like. Or we've also, we're not putting as much cheese on ours because we don't like that much melted cheese. But um, yeah, you can just kind of make it however you like. But I thought we would run you through this because this is one of our new recipes that we are trying this week. And I'm really intrigued by it. I think it looks a lot easier than obviously building up a lasagna and putting it in. So let's see how it goes. We've made the bolognese. Oh, it's gonna steam up the um, camera. We've just kind of gone with what we would do when we make a bolognese, but just added a few of extra things that he advises that you put in. And then obviously I forgot to mention lasagna sheets. So we're now gonna break these in half, pop them on top and um, add some water to let it all cook in together. The only thing is, I think I did mention earlier about the cheese situation is we didn't get like a soft cheese or anything, which I think is obviously gonna be an alternative for like a cheesy sauce that you'd have with lasagna. So ours might end up being more like a lasagna bolognese. <laughs> Bake. Bake, yeah. But I think it will still be nice. So yeah, I'll let you know when we when we finished. And there it is finished. It looks a little bit like a nachos. <laughs> <laughs> the picture so obviously bearing in mind we only put just normal cheddar on ours so you could do exactly what he's done in his recipe or whatever you want to do but yeah this is our one pot lasagna 
Looks good, we've got some garlic bread on the side Okay, as well. so this evening we are making, I don't know if it's Turkish or Greek, I think it's Turkish. I think it's just called a kebab fake away. Yeah. Whether you want it to be Turkish or Greek. You can so it we it do ours with tzatziki and pitas and things, so we we kind of turn ours a little bit more Greek, I suppose. But um, either way, this is what we're using. I'm not going to get the chicken out because I don't know how people feel about raw chicken, but basically this is the ingredients, so a bit of Greek yogurt, tomato puree, oregano and paprika, salt and pepper, garlic granules, chop up your chicken, mix it all together and leave it to marinade for a few hours. So my battery is flashing, so I will show you when it is done later. Okay, I thought I would show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can hear me or if it's focusing, but this is what it looks like after it's been marinating all day. Um, I forgot to mention earlier as well that you add lemon juice, but like I said, I will pop the recipe below. So yeah, I'm just gonna fry this up and show you at the end. So obviously you could cook this, um, which is what we tend to do in the summer, is we would leave it on skewers and we would put it on the barbecue or you could put it on the grill. Or I have seen people as well, like putting them on skewers and stacking them and then putting them in the oven and shredding them, which I do want to try at some point, which would make it more like the Greek gyros, um, which I think is maybe a slightly different recipe. But yeah, this is more like, it's a bit more like the um, Turkish sheesh that you would get if you went to a Turkish restaurant, but just not on the skewers. Oh, we're steaming up again purely because it's a lot quicker and it's after work and we've just got back from walking the dog so yeah it's just a lot quicker for us to do it like this but you could cook it however you want okay so the last thing i'm just going to share with you in this vlog is my smoothie that i've been having most days especially while working from home i love a smoothie but i always have to be in the mood for one and especially when it's cold outside a smoothie isn't something i would usually go for but what i've been trying to do is i started getting the real urge to have iced coffees in the afternoon in the summer an iced coffee in the afternoon is just so delicious and i just love iced coffee whether it's cold or not and i got back into the habit of making myself a coffee in the afternoon and i thought you know what i'm going to switch it up so i've gone back to the smoothies really trying to bring in some more fruit into my diet because i'm not very good at eating fruit so this is the perfect way for me to do it. This is just a strawberry and banana smoothie mix from Morrison's. You can get these anywhere. I normally get the Audi ones, but we were in Morrison's this weekend, so this is where that is from. They were two for five pound, I think. They do so many different ones, so you don't just have to get the strawberry and banana. You could get a strawberry and banana and a different one, or whatever you want to get, whatever fruit you like. Um, what I would usually do is smoothie mix, a little bit of water. Oh, we can't really see that. A little bit of water and oats if we've got like anything like chia is it chia seeds i don't know how you say that but if we had anything like that i'd put that in as well but what i've been adding to it this week is back to my light and free yogurts which i'm clearly obsessed with i've been popping in a strawberry one of these and i don't know if anyone on here i'm sure all smoothie shops are the same but when i lived in brighton or near brighton they used to have a boost bar and they did the most unreal strawberry smoothie and always wanted to try and replicate it but just by doing this it never seemed to be the same and then adding this in makes it taste so similar to the strawberry i can't remember what it was called now but a strawberry smoothie from the boost bar or any smoothie place that you guys go to this makes it taste so much better i am tempted to try and freeze some because i do feel like the smoothie places do frozen yogurt in theirs but obviously my fruit is frozen anyway. So yeah, adding this in has made it so delicious. So yeah, I'm just gonna make one of these. There you go, glasses and glass straw are from Amazon. I'll try and see if I can find them. I'll link them below. But yeah, there it is. It's actually not as thick as I would usually like it. I think as many banana, frozen banana bits. So I think it's actually gonna look a bit more watery, but then that's just your preference, isn't it? You can make it as, um, thick or whatever kind of consistency you like so that's it so that's the end of this week's vlog guys thank you so much for watching like i say i'm not gonna say what i'm filming next week now going forward because it never goes to plan so there will be another vlog at some point in the next week or so and yeah i really appreciate you watching if you did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up let me know below if you're going to try anything or if you've got any other recipes that we can give a go because we are going to try and do i think i've mentioned this before that we are going to try and do one 
a new recipe or just slightly different recipe a week so maybe what i'll do is i will film a snippet of that within each vlog even if it's just like the final thing or share a recipe with you guys because i think that is useful and like so i love watching stuff like that getting recipe ideas so yeah maybe i will try and include just like one a week even if it's just reading you guys the recipe if, if it's not easy to film but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next week